Hi, this is Pat Love back with Pat's Two Cents. Yeah, listen. <laughs> this is one of those days. Sorry, y'all. Anyway, um, God, I believe, has a comforting word. I believe he wants to talk to some people who are going through. There are some men out there who are really doubting themselves, who are questioning their desire to walk with God, who are feeling insecure about their commitment to God. And I really believe God wants to tell you right now that he wants you to not look at the man in the mirror right now. He wants you to look at the man on the cross. Because that is the only way you're going to cross over to the other side on that cross that man on the cross is no longer on the cross he is risen and he is alive indeed and he wants to raise you up and quicken your mortal bodies to line up with him and go forth to conquer and to conquer he wants you to be a winner he wants you to hold your head up high. You're not a loser. I don't care what you may think of yourself. I don't care how many times you have failed. Anytime you fail to the point where it makes you cry, you are definitely not a loser. You're trying. You're trying with everything you've got. You know... I want to share something with you. Maybe this will help you understand and get a better perspective of what you're going through. Years ago, <laughs> when I used to do uh, weaves, I was doing things before I went to cosmetology school. I had no idea. I would spend sometimes an hour and a half thinning out wigs, not knowing that there was a thing called thinning shears. And because I was not equipped, it took me much longer to do something that didn't have to take any more than 15, 20 minutes to do. Same thing when I was back in the day trying to do artwork. I was drawing pictures and I was working off a raw talent. So I didn't know where to start so i started with my favorite features i love people's eyes and i'd start there but sometimes i could spend 80 to 100 hours working on a portrait then i took a head drawing class and this teacher taught how to start with the big shadows first and the big features first and everything as you develop and build on it stays within the right proportion with everything else. Well, it actually cut my artwork time in half. My point in telling you that is you're going through life, figuring it out on your own, working it out on your own, fumbling around because you do not have the tools you do not have the wherewithal, the know-how. So life is 10 times harder than it has to be. But if you allow God to teach you to explain things, reveal things to you, the knowledge he gives will cut your time down to a fraction. The knowledge he gives, the understanding he gives, the enlightenment he gives will enable you to have more time to live rather than spend all your years struggling. God will make your life so much easier. Ask him. It's hard for men to ask directions. It's hard for men to admit they're lost. Admit, humble, ask. God's got everything you need, every tool, every connection, 
every bit of knowledge and information you need to get the job done in your life. He's got everything. He is everything you need. Stop being such a macho man. Humble yourself and allow yourself to cry out to him. God bless you as you get to know God for who he really is in our lives.